So I don't know, less than two bucks in this. Sold it for $24 and my payout was $19.20 on that. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to tell you what sold on Poshmark. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. I sell hard goods on Poshmark. I think that's one thing that kind of keeps me a little bit separate from other YouTubers that are sharing their Poshmark sales is I focus on the hard goods. I do sell clothing from time to time. I typically don't show you guys the clothing I sell um, just because I'm not really currently sourcing clothing. Um, every once in a while, I'll pop one in there just, you know, to keep it educational for those of you that do like clothes, but you're going to mostly see hard goods today. All right, so let's get started with the first item here. I sold these Disney Marvel Tsum Tsum Lot of Eleven figures. I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents. And on Poshmark, they take 20% if you don't sell on Poshmark. And when you send out an offer, you have to send out the offer with discounted shipping. It's a requirement. Um, so I am going to tell you my payout after fees and the discounted shipping if I sent an offer. This sold for $19, so my payout was $13.48. So $0.50 cents into $13.48, I will definitely take those margins. The next item here is this seed bead alligator necklace. It's crocodile. It's probably handmade. Super cute. This came out of my bulk buy jewelry buy. 344 pounds of jewelry that I purchased on eBay. You can check out those videos on this channel. They go way back, but... Um, this sold for $15. My payout was $10.28. The next item is this Victoria's Secret thong. And this is new without tags. I purchased this at a retail discount store. So I know for sure that these are new without tags. Um, I took off the discount tag because, I mean, I didn't want to leave that on. But there is a place called Discount Fashion Warehouse. And it used to be really good sourcing. I know they've changed how they do things. But if you are a clothing reseller, um, it's only in certain areas. I know they're in Ohio. I think there may be in another surrounding state. But if you are in Ohio, definitely consider checking that out if you sell clothing. Um, I can't remember what I paid for these. Probably a dollar or less. And I sold these for $10. My payout was $7.05. Here is another item that I got from that same place, Discount Fashion Warehouse. I used to source like crazy um, from this place. but I wanted to share this in case anybody's local that they sell a lot of express, but I have probably 50 to 70 of these in the closet behind me that I kind of quit clothing abruptly and switched to hard goods. So I need to get those listed. I will eventually, but um, these do pretty well. They're new with tags and I sold this one for $27 uh, with it says my payout was $17.60. So maybe I sent an offer on that. I don't know why. Seems like a big difference there. So not sure what's going on there. Or I wrote something down wrong. But Express shirts. If you see them and you can get them new with tags. I don't know. I'm guessing if they're not new with tags, they're not going to go for as much. And this also is something on eBay that's probably going to go in the $15 to $20 range. I feel like I did pretty good on this item on Poshmark. So what I do is I start my items on eBay and I cross post them to Poshmark and Mercari. I use List Perfectly. There's a link down below in the description of the video that shows you how I use List Perfectly. If you're interested in getting your items on more platforms, if you're only selling on Poshmark, I recommend highly that you get on eBay. For sure, my sales are hand hands down way more over on eBay. Um, but if you decide to use it uh, or try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off of List Perfectly. You can also start your items on Poshmark and cross post to the other platforms. I have a video that shows you that as well. But what I recommend doing is getting your items from Poshmark into the List Perfectly catalog and then cross posting to Mercari and eBay. 
And then you can use that D list option. So when something sells, it's in the catalog. And then you can just hit um, mark sold and it'll pull up the items and then you just mark them sold. So super great feature and uh, really speed things up quicker than manually uh, going in and deleting those, which is what I do. The next item I sold is this mother of pearl beaded necklace. And I picked this up in a dibble box, a jewelry box from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. I paid $50 for a box of jewelry. It was a mystery box, free shipping on that. This was one of the items. I kind of passed it off as junk because it had gold and this was silver. So it had been replaced. And I was like, eh. And I sent my friend um, Devin over at Moonstone Mamas a couple photos of some of the things I found. She usually helps me out. She's fantastic. If you guys are not subscri subscribed to Moonstone Mamas, oh my goodness, let me start again. If you are not subscribed to Moonstone Mamas, definitely go and sub her up. She is amazing. Um, but she said, oh my goodness, no, that's not a crafter's. She said, that is mother of pearl and you should price that kind of high. And I, I think I probably could have priced it a little bit higher, but I wanted the quick sale and I moved this super quick. It sold super fast. So she was spot on with saying that this is kind of a trending thing right now. Uh, I sold this for $19. My payout was $13.48. The next item is this breast cancer bracelet and pin. I can't remember where I got these. I think I got them at a garage sale a long time ago, but I had multiples and I've probably sold five or six lots of these on Poshmark. Um, sold this one for 10. The buyer um, pays the shipping on that and um, my payout was $7.05. Here is another item that came out of that dibble box from Donatella. Um, I will have her link down below. What she does is she goes out and she sources wholesale and then she wholesales the items to resellers. She has auctions and does buy it now on her YouTube channel. And uh, she does that along with auctions for you. So check them both out. And Moonstone Mamas also does live sales on her channel. And she is also on Whatnot. So this item right here, I feel like I underpriced. It sold super quick. Um, I sold it for $10. I think these might have been some sort of stone or something because they were cold to the touch, but I'm not super great with jewelry. I'm still learning. Um, so again, might have undersold it, but it was a quick sale. Sold it for $10. My payout was $7.05. Vintage lot of 11 cookie cutters. These Ohio bird, these took forever to sell, you guys. This was probably not the greatest buy, but... Um, want to say it was either in a mystery box or it was included in something I purchased. I don't think I had much in this. And I sold these for $11. My payout was $6.33. This little Power Rangers Gendrax Wild Force action figure, I used Google Lens to figure it out. Google Lens is a free service that you can use on your, it's, it's a Google app, uh, but you click this little button and you take a picture and then it will pull up pictures of your item and takes you to the website. So if one of these is listed on eBay, I can click on it and it will take me directly to eBay. This came from a garage sale for 25 cents and I sold it for 18. My payout was 1440. All right, this uh, Nickelodeon Ninja Turtle hat. So I was getting this video ready tonight and or yesterday to record tonight. And I don't always see the feedback because it's kind of hidden unless you go to your feedback and look. But when I was pulling up the item, I saw my feedback and they said that they watch my channel. And um, that was super exciting for me. So this is a viewer sale. And I didn't even know it because I didn't read my feedback. I sold this little uh, Nickelodeon hat for $11. And my payout was $6.33. And I think I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. I've had it listed for a while. But uh, Retha G R S. Godby, I think is how you say her uh, channel here or her Poshmark closet. This is who purchased the item. So I am going to showcase her store. And if you guys see anything you like, definitely go and buy something from her or at least at the very least, go and follow her and maybe share some things from her closet. So thank you so much for your pur purchase. I really, really greatly appreciate it. Super excited to have a viewer sale. I don't get tons of viewer sales. So when I do, I get really excited. 
but uh, she has a great closet. So check her out. The next item are these Spiri Topsider Loafer Men's Shoes. I think I got these from a storage unit, like garage sale. And I want to say I paid a couple bucks for them. I sold these for $39. My payout was $29.48. And they were in really uh, good condition. So the next item are these Ralph Lauren eyeglasses. Now these are, they do have a prescription in them. And you cannot sell prescription items. What you do is you sell them for the frames only because the chances of somebody buying these that is going to have the same exact prescription, probably not going to happen. Put frames only in the title. Or if you can pop out the lenses, you can do that. But some of them are really in there good and they're hard to pop out. So you don't want to damage the item. So you can either take them to a eyeglass place and have them pop them out or just put frames only in the title. I put lenses are trash, will need replaced. This item I got from the Goodwill bins. Um, a, a guy there, he watches Dad Planet. And when Dad Planet's there, he always takes Dad Planet over items that he finds. And Dad Planet will either get it or he'll leave it behind. But he always offers things up to him. And he has started doing that to me as well. And me and Dad Planet were standing there talking and he brought this item over to Dad Planet. He's like, you want it? And he's like, no, pass. And I'm like, I'll take it. I mean, they're Ralph Lauren, right? And I knew that I could sell them for frames only. And I sold these pretty quickly for $30. My payout was 24 bucks. So if you're watching, thank you. Um, pretty good sale and they sold pretty quick. So he hands me toys a lot and he's just a really nice guy and it's things that he's not interested in selling, but he knows that they will sell. So pretty cool of him to do that. And if you're not following dad planet, definitely go check him out. Him and I, um, he's, he, him and I go to the same Goodwill Ben. So sometimes we do collaboration videos where we'll have like a challenge and he'll go and try to find stuff and then we'll see who had the better haul and then you guys vote and stuff like that. So make sure you're following him. Um, we haven't done one for a while. Maybe we'll do one of those in the future. So, all right. The next item is also from my Dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. This one is a black silver tone bracelet. Just a really cool bracelet. Again, it sold really quick. It's not branded. Uh, I was actually surprised it sold so quick. I may have underpriced it. And I sold this for $12. My payout was $9.05. The next item is this Jurassic World T-Rex plush. It's a stuffed animal. I got it at a garage sale for 50 cents. Its teeth, if I remember correctly, had like, yeah, some pilling or fuzz or whatever on them. And I was not going to take the time to pick that off. I just disclosed it. Um, sold that for $14. My payout was $9.33. Vintage I'm the Boss Men's Snapback Trucker Hat. Um, I don't remember where I got this, to be honest with you. I usually pay a dollar or less for my hats, usually at garage sales. And I sold this for 20 bucks. My payout was 16. This here took a long time to sell. Um, it is a vintage ceramic stocking. It's like a wall pocket. It's a wall hanging. I ended up selling it for $39, which I thought was pretty fantastic. My payout was $29.48. I can't even tell you where I got it or what I paid for it. I've had it for a long time. I think it came from a garage sale. The next item is this vintage Anne Klein letter D initial pin, and it's a brooch. I should have, I didn't put brooch in the title. Well, that was a mistake. Um, this sold really fast. So you see this little check mark. My intent was to get some jewelry up on Poshmark and put anything with a green check mark bundle for this price, you know, like five for whatever, or three for whatever. I can't remember who I was watching and they do that. And I thought it was a really great idea. And I listed like five or six items, but I never got enough listed to fulfill the plan. And then this ended up selling for full price of $10. And my payout was $7.05. So that worked out. Dowdo Fall Asleep Faster Sleep Aid Device Insomnia Relief Better Sleep Live Lab. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. I, I don't know. I only put it on Poshmark because I didn't know. It just seemed like, I don't know. It seemed like something that would sell on Poshmark. And it did. And it sold really quick. 
Um, I sold it for $18 and my payout was $14.40. This bracelet lot, 11 costume stretch bracelets. I think these came from my bulk buy and I sold these for $13. My payout was $10.05. This little guy here is a vintage 1987 Hasbro, Hasbro, I, I think it's Hasbro, I think I say it wrong, uh, Battle Beast, number 34, Delta, ooh, Charmelin, Charmelion, I don't know how to say that, Takara, action figure toy. I got this at a garage sale for a quarter, and I sold this for $19, and my payout was $13.48. This vintage Fisher Price Little People green car uh, for luggage with two seats. And it's got the two little figures. This came from a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. I will link her down below. I purchase items from her to resell. Uh, she wholesales them out. She buys in big lots, uh, toy stores and storage units and stuff like that. And wholesales it out on her YouTube channel. So check her out. This sold for $15. My payout was $12. These earrings right here came from my bulk buy. Vintage dangle stud earrings, pierced beaded balls. Super cute. Just a fun little item. Costume, no, no signage or anything like that. Got these out of the bulk buy. Sold it for 15. My payout was 12. This is a thing that came out of a mystery toy box. And I wasn't going to list it. And I only put this on Poshmark. I was just wanting to list it quick. I didn't think it would do well on eBay or Mercari. and I, I don't know, it, but it ended up selling really quick. It surprised me. It was one of those weird things that I was like, wow, uh, how many things in those mystery boxes do I donate that I could be selling? If you want to see my mystery box thrift store boxes, I do unboxings over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. I have that link down below. I sold this for 10 bucks and my payout was 705. Transformers Robots in Disguise Power Bumblebee Toy. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. Uh, so $1.79 a pound. So probably less than a pound. So I don't know, less than two bucks in this. Sold it for $24. And my payout was $19.20 on that. Good Vibes Hat. Again, don't remember where I got it, but probably had a dollar or less in it. Sold it for $17. My payout was $13.60. This is a lot of 19 Hot Wheels trucks. Again, Poshmark is great for that because this was under five pounds. So I got that $7.67 shipping. Sold this for $40 and my payout was $32. I picked these up in mystery boxes, uh, thrift stores, garage sales, and then I just lot them typically. The next item is this Vintage Bucilla Merry Christmas Cross Stitch Kit. If you want to learn more about cross stitch kits, I recently did a category bolo video. That's where I pick a category and I do a deep dive into what items are selling and I show you the big money bolos. So a whole bunch of those on my channel, but I recently did cross stitch. So check that out. Sold this one for $21 and my payout was $16.80. The next item is this Disney Parks Minnie Mouse coffee mug. I think I got this at a garage sale. I don't recall. Took a long time to sell. Kind of a long tail item. That's mugs are hit and miss. Sold this for $17 and the buyer was, or, I'm sorry, my payout was $11.88. I usually pay a dollar or less for mugs. Poshmark is another great platform for mugs because a lot of times on eBay, these, um, by the time you box them, sometimes they're like 10 bucks to ship so that, uh, cheaper shipping is great. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching, um, videos popping up here and here and a subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Leave me a comment of an owl emoji. Um, if you don't have emoji, you can just write owl, like, whoo, whoo, not like, ouch. Thanks for watching.